Doubting Thomas, doubting Thomas. He did not believe it. He did not believe it. He did when not Jesus came it. to him, he fell he upon his knees. He when Jesus it. came to him, he found he could believe. Hey thou. <laughs> yes. Will you tell me the story of Doubting Thomas? Oh, sure, yes. It's a Bible story, uh huh, and and it's about Thomas. Who who was Thomas? Well, Thomas was a disciple of Jesus. What's a disciple? <laughs> okay, well, an apostle was one of the original twelve who were with Jesus. Uh huh, and the disciples were followers who came after the twelve. Oh, so Thomas was a disciple. Yes, Thomas was a disciple, and Jesus, after he rose from the dead, uh huh, came and visited the apostles. Where? In, in a little room. They were kind of frightened. They were in a room scared, and Jesus came to see them. <gasps> That's so cool. That's right. But Thomas wasn't there. Oh, no, where was Thomas? Was he up fishing? He, he might have been fishing. Where was he at the store? He, he might have been doing any of those things. Uh, was he taking care of his children? We, he, he could have been doing any of those things. But the point was, he was not there. And when he came and talked to the apostles, and they told him they had seen Jesus, Thomas did not believe it. <gasps> Why not? Be because he had not seen it. Hmm? He, he, he hadn't seen it. He hadn't touched Jesus. So he was he was having his doubts. Oh, but but later he saw Jesus uh -huh, and he fell on his knees and he believed. Oh, but I still don't get it. <laughs> well, let's try this. There are things we know that because we felt them or touched them. Uh-huh, like you're real because I can... No, oh, yes. Because I can do that to your head. That's right. And so you know that. You know I'm here. Because uh -huh, I can feel you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, like that. I can give you a kiss. Oh, that's much nicer. Thank you. And we know the kitchen is upstairs because we've been there, right? Uh-huh. But some things we don't know for sure, like, well, for example, you don't even know tomorrow. Will I come home from work and feed you dinner? Well, I believe you will because you always have. That's right. But you don't know it. Maybe something will happen and I won't be there. <gasps> That could be. Oh, I hope not. Well, no, I'll be there probably. But so that's something you believe in, uh huh. Even though you haven't seen it yet. Oh. And why do you believe that I'll be there tomorrow? Well, because you've always been here. That's right. And you've always come home from work. That's right. And you've always fed me. That's right. So, so you believe in me. Well, that's just how it is with God and Jesus. We, we, we're here on the earth. We breathe air. We have air to breathe all the time. Uh huh. What's that have to do with it? Well, we didn't make the air. The air is here for us to breathe. Oh, God gave us air. Oh, and food is here to eat. Cows make milk. The grass grows. Those things happen. We don't cause them. Oh, so God takes care of us. Oh, which is why we believe in God, because we know that he's been here all around us, or she, or, you know. Oh, I get it. So you believe, and doubting Thomas believed, and, and it's okay to have doubts. Yes, it's okay to have doubts. And it's really good to have faith. Yeah, it's really nice to have faith. We are blessed with faith. Yes, we are. <gasps> I hope you'll tell me another Bible story someday. I will. Thank you. Yes, we're done. <laughs>